do you handle a guy who when you tell him the truth about your life he shies away and does not talk to you for weeks so these are people again you know talking about those conversations that could be deal breakers if you know people want to be honest about their past so but you've said wanaume there are certain things you should is it I, that you should not tell your partner <laughs> or it is about when and how you tell your partner okay listen to me that girl who texted thank you about that uh to say me to say even if you're trying to be truthful don't be stupid measure your man how much can he accommodate if you need to process the issues, go to the right source to process. I'm a psychologist. Come tell me everything. Then I'll tell you what he can handle. You know him. He has already under sitting insecurities. His ex cheated and you're here saying you're the other seven men before him. <laughs> he will think you're just like that girl. So sometimes you need wisdom. Okay. In one wedding, I had the, very, the reverend tell the, the bride that you have your firstborn now. Treat him like your first son. Huh? To some extent, men are... True, true story. There's a level you have to view him just like a boy. Don't tell him. Treat him with the genderness, tenderness. Kuna vitu fai kumwe kuje expose. One girl was a party girl. This is a true case I handled. Was a party girl before she married. And, and then she marries this man who is very collected, but he has in, been in church all along. This is the first girl. He's but this girl was a party girl. Sex was noise. But now she's reformed and changed. But because of the friendship and the openness, she said... So you, she's not supposed to tell him that she's... Had Can he handle before? it? No, okay, what is she what is she not saying? That she's had relations before or how many relations she's had? She gave too many details. Okay. Don't give too many details. That but because we're also not saying to tell people to lie about their No, past. we're not lying. Listen, there's a difference between lying, openness, honesty, and the foolishness. <laughs> Jeez, there's a quote I told people yesterday. There's <laughs> a quote somewhere. Never approach listen, never approach a bull from the front, a dunking from behind. Or an idiot from any direction. <laughs> Benjamin. Measure your man. <laughs> Can he stand this level of openness? So Oi. just to be same IV, Christian girls especially, those who value honesty. <laughs> be honest, but also be wise. What did Abigail do when, when, when David was incensed and angry and was about to kill the husband? Right. She used wisdom. She sent food and honored the man. Mm. The man, actually, he responded in a way that I want all of you to elicit from all the men you deal with. It's the story of Abigail and Nabal in the Bible. Oh, this girl in church. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> she said, David responded in a way that I hope ladies will try to look for that kind of response. Yeah. I, have, I, have, I have both heard your advice and respected your person. Look for respect. Mm -hmm. So what you do with this man, eh? Understand kuna vitu, kuna limits. Unasikia kiwa na fears, na nini. Why, why feed the fears? By telling him, ata mimi, vilo na niona, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what he does not know does not hurt him. Go to the right place to Where? process. So, kuna vitu za mawaif, honestly, I don't wanna know. I just know generally, you're the guy before me. That's all. Yeah. Don't tell me, one night I went, and then we went, then we went, <laughs> and then, what? <laughs> if he's no longer in your life, what are you telling me? So this this is how you measure. There's a, there's a balance, there's a delicate balance you have to strike between how much you disclose to your man. Can he handle it and do you need to say it? If it is in your past and it's dead history, Joyce. Why okay. you bring it up? Okay, okay, okay. Where? Hiya. Why they run doing on Facebook says nowadays we don't have men. We have big boys full of themselves. Yeah. It's she has a point. We have boys grown beards. <laughs> We have, we do have people who are just so immature. Mm. You have to just walk on eggshells when you're dealing with them. Okay. But you told ladies, although God told me, God told you that the man you marry will, will rule over you. He also give you the chance to choose the ruler you want. <laughs> <laughs> Masi Ogola says, morning, Joy, say hi to Benjamin. I'm really laughing. <laughs> me too. <laughs> he is so funny and inspiring. I'm really learning a lot about today's topic. All right. Um, <laughs> Let's move on to other conversation things. Yes. Kunawale, they can actually air their dirty linen in public. Like when you're having an argument or things have been tense, like don't talk down your person in public, right? Like don't tell them to shut up. Don't tell them to, like don't talk to your boys and like dismiss her in front of them. Same with the ladies. Don't go and start talking about yeah. your husband or your boyfriend um and discrediting him in front of other people kuna watu wana time wana time move your your relationship breaks up and maybe they'll move in because yes. you know sometimes we don't appreciate what we have yeah Th that's so damaging public criticism yeah it's extremely damaging and when you say public it can be just one more person 
putting down your wife in front of your house help. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's, the, 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 if you have corrections to make, let's talk between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Out there, let's put up the image that is required. Mm -hmm. That we are married and we are human. We are not perfect. We have our times, but yeah. we, don't, we don't need to expose them. So even if you don't tell us, Joyce, I know you and your hubby are not always laughing every day. Neither do I and my wife are always laughing every day. Mm -hmm. But it's an, it's, a, it's an open secret. But do we need to show the, the public where we are now? No, because people mm -hmm. cannot take advantage of it. So yeah. if you have a person who, who criticizes you publicly, possibly you are being more damaged. Yeah. And remember we said the wound should not, you should not excuse the wound just because the person who, who pierced you, you know, said they loved you. Right. Just because you're wounded by a person who, you know, you're, you're trying to, you're saying you're in a relationship to. You should yeah. not uh, accommodate pain. And that thing about public criticism is so damaging because you're telling your partner that you're not a team. That you're willing yes. to kanyaga them, yes. you know, if it was going to make you look better in yeah. public. Yeah. So why should they stay with you? That's the point. Actually, many times when you embarrass me be, be, before my friends, many times you have not only hurt our relationship between us, but you also And the same thing we tell girls, have a, a friend, one friend or professional. Joyce, we said, kuna series ama yako, you should only trust with strangers. <laughs> not people in your life to stay. Eh. Learn that. Sasa yeah, professional, come open, because I don't know you and I can't tell anybody, I don't know your life. You trust a friend with so <laughs> much secret, they'll always have something. A power over you, najua, mm. najua, mm. najua, and they can say it, and then they can hurt you. Mm. So with this, these girls, you, you girls like sharing, and you have this new crush, and you have this guy, and all that. Be very careful whom you open it to, because they, they can be, they can be aroused to envy. Yeah, absolutely. You're doing better than them. Mm. They can hurt you. That's why we said relatives are very dangerous because they'll be always in your life and they, they can compare. Yeah. In Africa, we say there are two ways of becoming the firstborn be born first or be the most successful. Mm. The most successful child becomes the leader automatically. Sure. But these others are wondering, will you repeat our Your success highlights my, no, my failure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me move on to some other comments here because I have a lot of questions coming in. Okay. Um, someone here is saying. <clears throat> Uh, hey Joyce, just enjoying the show from Kayole. Uh, you have a question about the Frozen cartoon. <laughs> I I'm going to be sharing details about that um, towards the end of the show. Um, hey Joyce, what if he tells you where we're Nibure Kabisa? Guy. Okay, let me ask. By the time you marry Bure Kabisa, who are you? <laughs> you are the bigger Bure Kabisa. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if this man does, you cannot insult your wife without insulting yourself. Yeah, you yeah. picked her. Mm -hmm. Natuna if you have this person who has no qualms, who does who does not feel anything when they're putting you down, making you feel bad. Yeah, that's not a good person. Let's say this. There's a book called Love It Forward. Love is not a frozen thing. See my idea, Kenya Kipata or Shapata. Me, I I marry you, but will only stay as long as you're valuing me. Right. I have not submitted to be your slave. Yeah, yeah. Let tell ladies to continue putting a, a thermometer <laughs> into their relationship and to sense whether it is still working. Mm. Don't listen to this social pressure that you have to keep your marriage working. Yeah. God hates divorce, Christians. God hates divorce but does not hate divorcees. He knows the relationship takes two people. Mm -hmm. And if one stops playing, you see must to Kai Pale. We don't see anywhere where the Bible, you know, condemns Abigail for trying to appease the wise man against a foolish husband. Mm -hmm. And I've always asked where the wise girl had gotten hooked up with a fool. <laughs> Maybe those days they were being hooked by other people. Right. But you're saying, come on, I could put down continually, put down your foot and say, I can't put this, I can't stay with this anymore. Mm. Uh, uh, some ladies will ask, when will these games stop? I tell them it, they will stop when you stop playing. Wow. Hey, okay. Let me move on to some more questions. Hey there, how do you handle a lady who thinks you always cheat on her? So I'm going to read a couple and we can correct, summarize correct. our answers now. How do you handle a lady who thinks you always cheat on her and she doesn't want you to relate? Atana relatives, that's by Kelvo. And we kind of touched on that a little bit, but I'll, I'll throw that to you later. Hey Joyce, just saying hi, I love you. It's Purity from Gong. Thank you so much, Purity, for your love. I do appreciate you. Um... Hello, Joyce. Say hi to the guests. When I argue with my boyfriend, I always talk of a breakup, but now we are in good terms. My fears are he has been raised with relatives and he is an orphan. He needs me to act like a mom and a girlfriend and lover. Please help. Heh. That doesn't sound like a very healthy or stable relationship. Let's start here. When you do these people are very needy. They're coming from a, like that orphan. And they want you to be both the mother, you know, the girlfriend, the lover. The lover. You are not looking for a project, excuse me. Mm. <laughs> this is not a rescue center. You're looking for a man, a partner, a husband, a lover, a person who gives you as much as you give them. Don't be manipulated by people's needs to stay there and they feed on you when they're not feeding you. Soon you'll be depleted. Let's say this, Joyce. 
put it on the table with that guy. I understand your mm. need, I understand the situation, <laughs> but understand, I also have needs, mm. okay? I may have good family that raised me, but they are not here with me anymore. This is about us. Yeah. So can you work on your side? Sometimes I tell, I tell ladies, help that guy. Love him the way you love the moon. Fondly, but from a distance. We all love the moon, but we don't go to live there. <laughs> we know we can't survive there. So there are people wow. you need to love them from a distance. Wow. That is still love. Okay. Okay. Two more messages here, Benjamin. Hey, Joyce, loving the show. I want to ask how to deal with a partner who's so possessive. He wants everything to go as per his way. Not that I don't have a say, but he'll always have a way to get his way through everything. And it's really becoming an issue. It's becoming an issue because you're still accommodating it. Why don't you put it up the way you have written this text? Why don't you text him like that? Mm -hmm. I'm concerned that you're always having your way. I'm concerned that I'm losing my voice. I can't, when you, when you pretend like you're hearing my voice, but finally you still force your way. Is this part of what we were talking about earlier, Benjamin? That in a way, it's almost like we can get ourselves to a point of desperation just to be in a relationship. Very good. That now, suddenly, it's like you don't call out things. Yes. Because you're scared of losing the uh -huh. relationship when you know it's not even I think it's her fear that is keeping her there. Sometimes you're afraid if I rock the boat, I'll be left. Mm. Is it your fear of abandonment? I hope that lady would even call up. I do sessions on phone. Call up and let's talk. Okay. I can guide you. Okay. Part of it, what, what you usually do with these, these people is tell them, what are you afraid most of? Atakwambia, I was brought up by a single mother. Now I was brought up by a single mother. Again, I, I fear carrying that forward. Now excuse me, you can't control life like that. Yeah. After the Bible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with other people. As far as it depends on you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, one last one, Benjamin, very quickly. <clears throat> it's a bit of a long text, but um, hey, Joyce, please, I need some help here. I'm getting married next week, but the guy is never involving me in any discussion about anything, talk of money, friends, or anything. When we met, I used to do my makeup, dress the way I want, and I valued him. On the way, he started changing me. Now I don't do anything that I loved before. I feel like my self-esteem is damaged because he always tells me I don't look beautiful at all. What? Hmm. If I try to tell him that I don't like the way he does things, he gets mad at me and I just don't want to hear it anymore. Please help me. That's June. Getting married next week. June, that's urgent. Contact me, Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. Yeah, please. I think this girl and many others value wedding so much they forget marriage. Mm. She's talking of wedding. He can, I mean, surely you're about to get married. He has to be. He cannot not call you beautiful like the week I'm before your wedding. That. Seriously. It's like you're being hunted down. And now no, you're being caged. Okay. June, please reach out to Benjamin, your number. ZuluBenjamin at gmail.com. Facebook is Zulu Benjamin page. Let okay. that girl uh, contact me. All right. Unfortunately, my time is up and I do need to wrap up. But thank you guys for all of your feedback and your comments. It's been a great engaging session with you. Um, just, you know, listening to all of the different feedback that's coming in, your questions. And uh, thank you to my guests. Thank you, Benjamin, as always, for coming through.